would like to welcome you here tonight. We are the class of 2011's Year Level Coordinators. I am Claire Brackmanis and I am Michelle Litzel. We would like to start by firstly thanking parents, guardians, friends and teachers for attending tonight. A big welcome to the class of 2011, to your graduation night. Can you actually believe that it's here, that it's tonight? Over the years, this year level has come to know us as their coordinators that like to do things a little differently, and we're not going to disappoint them tonight. Tonight we've prepared a presentation that we hope you will enjoy. Oh no. Is this yours? I don't think it's mine. I don't think it's mine. No, it's not mine. on an amazing journey. It has been a life-changing adventure which has tested you like you've never been tested before. Physically, mentally, and socially. In a way, it has been like an amazing race, one which is almost over. Each year level has been like visiting a new country, and each class like a city within that country. Each with their own rules, expectations, and language in some cases. You will face challenges, obstacles, hazards, and detours on your race. Let's look back at the class of 2011 and their amazing journey. Deal with cold, windy weather. 
we came down to visit you and challenge you to a detour of orienteering, where we became the first team to arrive. Support of Miss Manny. Miss Brackmanis took a temporary hiatus which would see her return the following year. Friday night was one of your challenges in 2009, where 80 of you raced around the school in the dark to claim the title of Friday night ultimate survivors. The purple team took this title. Battle of the Tens saw the introduction of a minute to win it. Jump in the trunk was one of the challenges. Year 11 and Year 12 saw Miss Little and I reunite to see you through to the end of the race, which at times was gruelling, but you always knew that we had your best interest at heart. In 2010, there was a change of uniform and also a change in the game rules which included access to alternative food options, as well as the choice to leave the race during the round time. Now, some adapted quite well and understood the rules, but others took advantage and were penalised. We were determined now to see this race through with you, even though you tried to break us with your lateness to class, absences, failure to see detentions through, but nothing deterred us from seeing this race through. Ten students were selected to take a different route in the race and their destination was China. This was a first for the school and the students were commended for the way in which they represented the school. 44 other students volunteered to tackle a leg of the race in Central Australia. Although this involved a long bus ride and some terrible weather, this would not stop some of you from creating a Man of the Month calendar and competing for the day of the <laughs> of Dummy Skidder, Vanity, Teacher's Pet, and the Princess Award. The bus breaking down was challenging for many of you, but some of you decided to look at it as a glass half full, claiming <laughs> Many activities were organised to keep you motivated and competing. The most memorable, the Year 12 Formal, which for the first time in the competition at Braidwell College, was held after the mid-year exams at the Melbourne Aquarium. We witnessed many forms of dancing and bonding rituals, but a successful night was had by all. The old VCE common room was a scene for some interesting activities, from students dancing, not knowing others are watching, to a place to rest from to be reunited <laughs> a long break sleep, or not so long for some of you. You all have various mentors along the way, ones which you saw day to day and ones which you knew were there if you needed a lifeline. Midway through the last year of your race, there was a change of room numbers to throw you off course. But many of you were not affected, and we saw your teachers deal with it a lot worse. The opening of a VCE centre made things a lot more positive and worthwhile, and needless to say, your coordinators were very happy to be in a nice new office. Many were eliminated from this race over the years, but a lot of you continued your participation, vying for the ultimate prize finishing Year 12. Many of you were involved in other important events which occurred over the race, from academic achievements to sports, music, debating, LOL and SRC. Just to mention a few, 
and your continuous involvement and dedication to these things is what has assisted you in your journey. This section coming up, where you will work with your peers and teachers to help you through the last leg of the race. It will be the most challenging you have faced so far. We wish you all the best of luck and thank you for your continuous commitment and participation over the years and throughout your amazing race.